Temple Emmanuel is about today and yesterday, but it's also about tomorrow. It's about what the Jewish people will become. The temple itself and all the congregation and the rabbis has given me a feeling of belonging and uh, it's helped form my entire set of values that I'm going to live by for my entire life. I think a lot of the people here are really looking for something to hang on to in this very unstable world that we live in. And here is stability. I consider this a home. My home life with my parents and my sisters was wonderful and it's the basis for my stability in life. And I consider the temple and our activities in it as a family throughout the years to be a part of my life. And I can come to this building and I can come and sit on the pulpit or out in the sanctuary and um, remember my childhood. And it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's very Jewish and it makes me feel wonderful to be Jewish. I'm Michael Wilk, president of our congregation. And joining me are a group of Emmanuel congregants who want to share with you their feelings about the importance of our synagogue in their lives. All of us in this video are of different ages and stages. Our backgrounds are different, our needs are different, and we have different opinions on a variety of subjects. Some of us grew up here, and some of us, like me, grew up elsewhere. But there's one thing we know, and that is that some things are more important than others. And the synagogue, our synagogue, Emmanuel, is very important to all of us, as we believe it is to you. Temple Emmanuel to me, even though it is just a physical building, it is my spiritual home. And when I come back to it, and I do it often and spend many hours there, it is a source of sustenance for me. It is a warm and nurturing building. It is a warm and nurturing community of people. And the moment I walked in, I just felt at home. And I absolutely adore the rabbis. And then all the people that we have met, I've just felt very much at home and very comfortable with them. It's like one big happy family. <laughs> and also you've gotten involved with the Brotherhood, too. Yeah, well, I've, I've been involved with the Brotherhood. And uh, in addition, to obviously, the Havaran, I've, it's a kind of a, it's a place to become grounded. There's family, there's work for financial reasons, and then there's work to be a part of a Jewish community. It's what, it's what gives us the spiritual aspect of what life is, and it makes you whole. Temple Emmanuel is my second home. I've grown up here. My children went to school here. My husband and I were both consecrated here. So it's, we were married here, and so were my parents. This is home to me. And it's a comfortable feeling. I feel real comfortable. My husband grew up here, and I want my children to feel as comfortable as I do. It's an important part of our lives, and it gives us a tremendous amount of meaning and identity I couldn't find anywhere else. Our children walk in here and they know the rabbis, they come up, they give them hugs, they give them kisses, and they're just, they're at home here as they are in our home. They just, they love it. You have a lot of people who are dedicated to things beyond just uh, making money, the standard things, uh, a temple that's a place to worship. You have people who are devoted to the community. That was a big attraction to me. That's why. One of the reasons we picked Emmanuel over any other congregation in Houston. We came here as a first visit to any synagogue at all. We were searching at that time, and we just felt so warm and welcomed that we stayed. We looked. We had looked at other congregations, and uh, we picked this one because we thought at first this would be the best. I mean, there were logistical reasons and so on, but uh, after a year or so, we were convinced that uh, this was the place the kids could be part of a community. Being in an interfaith marriage, the Temple Emmanuel is uh, an accepting uh, institution, one that uh, accepts the fact that uh, my wife and I want to bring our daughter up Jewish. We had always decided we wanted to do that uh, even before we got married. And uh, my wife is primarily concerned with bringing her up in with some with religion and in, in a spiritual environment and Temple Emmanuel uh, is, is a good place 
uh, is a welcoming place for that kind of um, approach to bring children up. As a single parent, the educational and social aspects for my son are varied enough where he feels very comfortable here and has learned uh, a lot through his Jewish education. This physical building is a, a place where people meet and exchange ideas and that completes a circle of learning. Um, for me, it seems to be the most logical way of completing my life and my family's life. My wife and I, who had grown up in what you might call one of the Northeast ghettos, had very, very superficial Jewish backgrounds, although we were both uh, bar and bat mitzvah. Our children are more Jewish than we ever dreamed that they would be, and I think we owe that entirely to their involvement with Emmanuel. I feel very connected with the temple, whether it's on the preschool committee or in the kitchen cooking or just reading our newsletter and seeing, you know, what a talented, dynamic co congregation we have, all the, the outreach, their social action. Everything that this congregation does is just things that I'm very proud of. Whether it's the AIDS team or it's a food pantry or it's various projects like this that we have taken over, uh, refurbishing houses for the needy, uh, we do good work and uh, we're darn proud of it and I'm very proud of it. I know that our hunger program, our emergency aid coalition has been running out of money and I know that the temple needs money to make these programs happen. I know that they need programs to make a good Sunday school for the young children so they will learn about what's needed in this world. I know that everything that happens here uh, it's, it's sad to say, but it all focuses around money. So I know that we, uh, the temple needs our financial support. You never stop paying dues to Judaism because the survival of a people requires 100% cooperation and generosity. I'm always distressed when somebody says, well, I've paid my dues. I don't, uh, you've never finished paying your dues. We can't take it for granted. In, in order for it to be there for our children and our grandchildren, uh, we have to have the same commitment today that our parents and their parents before them had uh, when they founded the temple, when they founded the Jewish community in Houston. If you are prioritizing your activities and your money, Emmanuel should be at the top. Not only is it the place for your educational and spiritual participation and involvement, it's, it's where the life cycle events that are so important to us happen whether it's birth, whether it's bar mitzvah, whether it's confirmation, whether it's graduation, whether it's death, whether it's marriage, whatever it is, this is where those are the most important events in our lives. And Emmanuel is where they happen. And that's why it's a high priority and should be a high priority for everybody. I was married by Rabbi Khan. My father was buried and my brother by Rabbi Khan. My children were confirmed here, four of them. Three were married here. It's, it's part of us. We all need to be givers, not takers, and uh, the temple gives more than, uh, uh, more than I think we can possibly put into words, but uh, uh, what little bit we can give back, I think, is so, so important to make sure this continues. To me, the temple epitomizes spirituality. It's very important to me that I come. It's very important to me that my children come and belong, which they do, and to walk through the halls and to see my grandchildren running up and down the halls is a wonderful feeling of continuity. We have to teach our children and bring them up and give them a chance to become leaders in our congregation. That's what it's all about. That's what Judaism is all about. And that's what Congregation Emmanuel is all about. Very good, Kathy. You said it all. <laughs> she really did. And I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's the place. It's really the place that you want to be. No matter what's ever said and done, you're doing something else, you're always going to go back to Emmanuel, walk in that building, and you're still going to have that feeling, that's the place I want to be. This week, next week, and for the years to come, for as long as you live. I love that place. I love that temple. And, and I feel that it loves me. It's great. It's a great temple, and we should respect it and support it. I love being a member of Emmanuel. I've always considered it a privilege. 
these are hard times. And all of us feel a lot of needs crowding in on us. But there are some things that are more important than others. And to my mind, Emmanuel is one of those things. Its message of faith to its congregation, its education of its children, its uh, service to the community's welfare in so many different ways. And therefore, it must take priority in our lives and the support we give to it, to Judaism, to our community, to America, and above all, to our children and grandchildren. Temple Emmanuel is what every synagogue should be. It's a house of worship where we can come and pray. It's a house of study where we can come and learn about our tradition. And it's a house of community where we can come together, share with each other not only our joys and our sorrows, but the task of making the world a better place. That's the mandate that was given to us thousands of years ago that we have restated and that we have tried to live for almost 50 years. You can help make a difference. You can help see that that tradition continues, that tomorrow is as good as yesterday. As I said in the beginning, no matter our ages or interests, we all know that some things are more important than others and that Emmanuel is very important to all of us. There are times in our lives when each of us has needed the synagogue for comfort, for challenge, for inspiration, for hope. And Emmanuel has always been there to help us. At this particular time in our congregation's life, Emmanuel needs each of us. Some things are more important than others. There are many splendid Jewish organizations which raise money for a variety of worthwhile causes. But only the synagogue, only the synagogue raises Jews. In future communication, we will explain how you can help this congregation, our congregation, Emmanuel, fulfill that sacred mission.